I'm Carrie Peters, a recognized thought leader in the Microsoft Dynamics community and a Microsoft MVP for business applications. Welcome to the Get Your New View podcast. Keep listening to learn how we work with frustrated business, central and NAV users who struggle to use their systems and find the answers that they need. We teach them to truly understand how the system can support their business processes to make immediate and lasting improvements. As a result, they get more done in less time, make better business decisions, and even love their system. In this next season of the Get Your New View podcast, I'd like you to meet Kim Congleton. Kim and I are the co-owners of New View Strategies, and this season, we'll be talking with you all about change management and cheese. Hey everybody, it's Kim and Carrie, and we're here talking about change management and cheese. We are talking about the master plan for change. How do you plan your overall cheese board and how do we do it here at New View Strategies? So Kim, we have a, a particular thing that we do here at New View Strategies that I'd love to have you uh, explain to the folks who are listening. Yeah, so uh, one of the tools that we use to run our business is called Traction. And it's an operating system that we use. Um, uh, what it does is allows us to focus on what's important to us. So we focus on people, tools, technology. Uh, we go through a process to set up our goals, um, like a one, three, five, and 10 year plan. And um, it's really been instrumental in helping us uh, stay focused on what's important uh, to reach our goals, uh, you know, because one of the big things is is really focusing if we've set a goal for one year is that all of our uh, uh, individual goals have to support that goal for the one year. So and it's really kept us on track to make sure that we're hitting those. Uh, the other thing that we do is um, it really gives us the flexibility uh, to kind of say, you know, here we're looking at like one, three, five years. And if there is something that we need to maybe pull in a little sooner, uh, we can do that. You know, it's really uh, evaluating quarter by quarter how we're on track. And if there's anything that we need to change because our business is changing or because, you know, there were some surprises that happened last year. Um, and, uh, you know, making sure that we could deal with those. Yeah, absolutely. I really uh, like how this plan helps us to focus and to really deal with the cheese in a blender situation, uh, you know, especially in the last year. It was a wild yeah. ride and, and continues to be. And yeah. I feel like uh, having that uh, one, three, five and 10 year plan has been it, absolutely instrumental to helping us to stay on track while still being flexible enough to take the surprises as we come. So um, what's the biggest example you can think of with that? Well, I think, you know, especially when we look at last year um, mm -hmm. and how things, you know, changed very quickly in March and April. Yeah. Um, there were some things that we had on the plan that were maybe that were further down the road. Um, and being able to say, well, we already have the tools in place. We, we already know kind of high level how we were going to make that happen as far as like training, uh, custom training and, and more online training. And we can pull that forward and decide to prioritize that. But I think the, the key thing was that because we had that on that further timeline, we'd already thought through what needed to happen for us to be able to do that. Yep. Yeah. And I think that that, um, revisiting as a business ritual is is actually really a big deal that the the quarterly meetings that we have as a leadership team um, and then the the way that we pull that into weekly communications about what's happening and what people are accomplishing and, and what we're going to be doing in the next quarter really makes a difference uh, with keeping us on track with communication uh, and with focus um, and uh, with flexibility so um the other thing that I really like about this is that we do make continual and incremental progress uh, because of that through those goals. So can you talk about what that looks like for us? 
Um, yeah, I think um, kind of to your point, too, is there's that constant communication. So there's, you know, meetings weekly uh, and everybody is kind of working through what their pieces are that they need to complete. Um, and I think uh, it's it's really critical that we have that communication and that we're actually uh, uh, all talking and kind of all working towards the same goal. And I think the thing that, that really uh, makes us as successful as we are is that people kind of have that tool then to say, well, this is the thing I need to complete this, this quarter. And this is, if I have some downtime, if I have, you know, some time where uh, some focus time for, to work on the business, I need to focus on this one thing or these two things. And it really gives us the tool to make sure that we're doing those things and not maybe doing the 10 other things that popped in my head that maybe I wanted to do today or the, you know, the shiny new object, like I can tend to get distracted by. Right. Um, but it really does help keep you on track to say, and, and I think we've kind of proven over the last three years, as long as we focus on those goals, we hit the bigger goals. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've been pretty successful each year at saying at the beginning of the year, these are the goals we have. And here's the goals we, as the, the owners and as the team members, these are the things we need to have happen. And it's been really fun to see us accomplish those big goals at the end of the year. Yeah. Absolutely. I think the thing that surprised me about this the most after we adopted this was that we don't stray too far from the path, right? We're, we're still able to deal with the flavor of the day stuff that comes up. Uh, we probably had maybe three or four critical conversations last year about, okay, we have these opportunities in front of us, which of these support our long-term goals and which of these are we going to uh, support uh, in our efforts, uh, in our work. But I think that when I look at the overall thing, we have uh, every time we have our annual planning in particular, we have a couple of key things that change or really just kind of shift. Um, but it really is a, an ongoing testament to uh, the idea that that goal setting process in the short term and in the long term process really keeps us uh, on track uh, with exactly what we're doing while still uh, allowing us to be uh, flexible with whatever's coming our way. Mm -hmm. And I think it it actually has helped too with some of the outside people we've worked with. Mm -hmm. You know, they've even kept us on track. Like, yeah. you know, that's the, you know, is that really getting you towards these goals? And yeah. so um, I think it comes in handy with definitely, you know, anyone we're working with um, on so, for something uh, for the business. Yep. Well, fantastic. I um, I'm not quite sure how my fancy cheese board here equates to what we have, but I'll let you take a look at that if I can get that up on the camera. So I've got lots of nice. good things, all of the different cheeses and some fruits and things that we've been working on. So when you think about um, what is it that is on your master plan, right? And you're planning your cheese board, uh, you're gonna have surprises. So um, how often are you revisiting your plan, right? How often, how far out are you looking, first of all, right? You've got to have something past that one year or you've got to have something underneath the 10 year. You've got to have those different increments. So how often are you revisiting that plan to figure out what that fancy cheese board looks like? All right, Kim and I are going to go eat some cheese, a whole bunch of it because we've got our beautiful uh, cheese board put together. And when we come back, we're going to talk about what do you do when you've changed too fast? So we'll see you back for the next episode. I'm Carrie Peters. Thank you for tuning in to the Get Your New View podcast. For more episodes like this on YouTube, click the subscribe button and ring the bell to ensure that you get notified whenever new content comes out. If you're listening to the audio podcast, please share an honest review on Apple Podcasts. If you are ready to rethink today for tomorrow, look for the link below and contact us to speak with our expert team. You won't find the level of no-nonsense, real-world experience we offer anywhere else, and we're here to put that experience to work for you. Do you think you could use more features of your software if you just knew how? Are you frustrated with inefficiency that never seems to get better? Did your team ever really get good training to understand how to use your business software? Do you suspect there just has to be a better way and you don't know what it is? 
We believe every company can benefit from increased efficiency and higher utilization of their software, and that it's possible to have fun while learning exactly how to do that. The experts at NewView Strategies work with frustrated Business Central and NAV users who struggle to use their system and find the answers they need. We teach them to truly understand how the system can support their business processes to make immediate and lasting improvements. As a result, they get more done in less time, make better business decisions, and even love their system. Please contact us at getyournewview.com to get started.